Intel City, a platform where you can learn, teach, research, and repeat. My name is Sumer Aziz and I am instructor at the Department of Electronics Engineering at University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, Pakistan. In this video, we will learn the basics of transfer learning and its implementation using MATLAB. Transfer learning is a deep learning approach in which a model that has been trained for one task is used as a starting point to train a model for another similar task. Why we use transfer learning? Transfer learning is a popular technique because of the following two reasons. It obtains acceptable results even with less data and it can dramatically reduce the training time and computing resources. The first step in the transfer learning is to load the pre-trained model, for example, LXNet, RASNet, or VGG, etc. Early layers of these models uh, consist of convolutional, pooling, and activation layers, and these layers extract the low-level features like edges, blobs, colors, etc. These models are trained for thousands of classes on millions of images and are publicly available. The second step in transfer learning is to replace the final layers by your own layers. These layers will learn features specific to your own data set. In our problem, these layers will learn features specific to satellite image classification data set. These layers can be trained for a few classes using less data. The next step is to train the modified network. This uh, training will take less time and reduce amount of data. The next step after training uh, the modified network is to predict and assess the network accuracy. We have the trained a model at this stage and we deploy the results in the final stage. We, need, we can uh, predict the classes using our own deep learning network. Transfer learning using SqueezeNet. In this video, we will show how to use transfer learning to retrain SqueezeNet uh, a pre-trained convolution neural network to classify a new set of images. SqueezeNet was released in 2016 by researchers at University of California, Berkeley and Stanford University. In designing SqueezeNet, the goal was to create a smaller network with fewer parameters that can uh, more easily fit into computer memory and can easily be transmitted over a computer network. Implement the transfer learning use using SqueezeNet for classification of satellite image data set. Let's implement this model in MATLAB. I have installed MATLAB 2020A version. We open the Deep Network Designer Toolkit from the Applications, the Apps tab. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, here we have a uh, different uh, networks like SqueezeNet, uh, GoogleNet, ResNet, DotNet. So uh, uh, if you don't have a network installed, then you can click uh, over here to install the network. I have uh, already installed the SqueezeNet, so I open it by clicking here. Now the network is loading. This is the overview of the Deep Network Designer Toolkit. Uh, in this uh, central portion, we can see the zoomed out view of the SqueezeNet network. On the right side, we can see the properties tab. And here we can see the number of layers, the number of connections, input and output types. And on the left side, we have the uh, filter layers. We can find, we can see different types of uh, filters and layers over here, which we will use further. Here we can see three tabs, a designer tab, data tab, and the training tab so first of all we load the data uh, which for which we want uh, the network to be trained so in the data tab uh, we click this import data and the window opens and that is uh, import image classification data for training so we need to uh, tell this we know we need to uh, select the location of the folder uh, where our images uh, are copied I have a data set which consists of uh, three classes that is airplane class, beach class and forest class. So these are all the satellite images and each uh, class is having 100 images. So I will copy this location. And 
and paste over here and we can use the augmentation options in the augmentation we can augment the data set and increase the size of the data set for but for now i will i will not use this augmentation option and in the validation we split the data in the training and the testing uh, uh, sets so uh, 30 percent will be used for testing and the remaining 70 percent will be used for the training i click the import Now uh, I have imported the data set. Uh, we can see the airplane, beach, and forest class. And uh, these are number of classes is three. And total observation for training are 210. I go back to the designer tool uh, tab again. Where we need to modify the network for our own use. So I'll go to these final layers. I will replace this uh, con 10 layer. We can see the properties of this layer. This name of the layer is con 10 and filter size and number of filters and strides are over here. So I will delete this and replace this by dragging a new con 2 layer from the layers library and I will connect them to this. Okay, now I will change the name of this layer to cons new and the filter size should be uh, in my case 1 1 and the number of filters is actually the number of classes so in in my example I have three classes so I will choose three filters and stride is one comma one and the dilation filter one comma one so i will change the learning rate to be 10 so weight learn rate factor is 10 and the bias learn rate factor also 10 so it will increase the learning rate so i this uh, layer will uh, update the weights and the biases rapidly i will also delete this classification layer and replace this layer with a new classification layer So now I'll we have completed the uh, modification of this network. Now we go to the uh, we have also uh, loaded the data uh, for the training, and now we go to the training tab, and then click this training option. So here in the training options, uh, uh, we change this initial learning date to be 0 0.001. And uh, this is a very, uh, very uh, slow learning rate because we want the initial layers to learn very slowly. The val validation frequency is five in our case, and uh, I want my network to uh, iterate through a whole training data set only three times. So our uh, maximum apox is three, and mini batch size is ten. As I have a small data set, so I keep these values. Close this training option, and then I start training. On the x-axis, we can see the number of iterations. And on the y-axis, the accuracy uh, rate is mentioned. There is a progress bar, which shows the training iterations.
now the training is complete and we export the model to our workspace by cl clicking this option export train network and results our train network is here in the workspace we can see now we want to test this train network first of all we load an image using im read command we load this image from the dataset directory ms14. If then we resize the image using im resize command so that the size of the image matches the size of the convolution neural network. Then we predict the results using classifier command and command is used to predict the results we pass the image i to this network and this we predict the results Let's save this and we run this in the y categorical variable we can see this as forest as we provided image of a forest we can change this uh, to the classes other classes like airplane beach and we can see the results so in this way you can train the deep learning model and you can use the transfer learning model you can train your own data set with the uh, with the explained modifications thank you very much